Hello everybody, Vicarious Viking here. Welcome back to Let's Play Nuclear Throne. I'm gonna play as uh, Rebel because I really wanna play as Rebel. There's been some changes to Rebel recently. Holy crap, this guy's gotta die. Uh, oh my, oh my, I've taken a hit. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it's uh, the first ally you spawn costs two HP and then every future ally only costs one. And uh, I just kind of basically proved that because I was down to six. Spawned one, put me down to four, spawned another, now I'm down to three. They also only drop um, ammo now, so you can't get health back for them. So I'm actually almost dead, but I did want to check that out and test it out. Uh, not yet. Did I not get the uh, the plutonium canister? Was there no plutonium canister to have gotten? That looks like that's where it was. Anyway, we're going to go down. We got an assault rifle, which is fine with me. We got rhino skin or or scarier face or thromba, but I'm actually going to take rhino skin. Probably won't even bother spawning any allies on this level. But I do like allies still, I think. Ah, uh, what's happening? Oh, pause game. Hang on a second. There's a freaking flea on me listen to this internet because i got a story for you <gasps> i just tried to crush it in between my fingernail but it hopped away a flea okay back to the game this is some crap listen to this i just got back from moncton i was visiting my friend allison moncton is, is uh just the next town over the astute of you might now be able to uh sit, figure out where i live or at least close to it if you are uh, a stalker of any kind then then i might be a little worried but I'm sure even if you were, nobody would want to stalk me. Anyway, went to go visit my friend in the next town over for a, a couple of days, right? Which is why I haven't made a video in a couple of days, which I did talk about in my previous Nuclear Throne video, so you might already know that. And I won't go on about the trip, because I talked about that in my Isaac video. And I really don't feel like going on that same rant again. Uh, and, you, and if you watch both of them, you probably don't want to hear that same rant again. So, so there we have it. Okay, I'm going to come up here. But I have a totally new story for you. That was very close. Which is this, the trip was fine, whatever. I come back and I'm, I'm, I'm finally home and I'm just chilling out, unwinding, uh, checking out you know, my comments, looking up some YouTube videos, getting caught up on the whole internet stuff. She didn't have any internet there or anything, so which was kind of crazy, like being totally, and I have no cell phone or anything, so I'm totally disconnected from, uh, I don't know, the online world, which uh, I almost never, where the hell is this guy? Oh, well, there he is. Which I, I almost never am. So that was weird in and of itself. But then, you know, I come back and uh, and I'm chilling out and I'm doing my thing. And then, friggin' oh shit. Ah, okay, he's dead. I'm home for about half an hour and suddenly I'm super itchy. My legs are crazy itchy. I'm going to go with Rabbit's Paw. And, uh, wow, we got two levels. I guess I'll go with, uh, oh, Laser Brain? Ooh, scarier face. Let's just go with scarier face. I don't often take it. I find that you don't really need it because it doesn't increase enemy health by a whole lot. I used to love it, and it's still probably pretty good. But uh, like I said, these things will now die in one hit, actually, which is nice from the screwdriver. Anyway, suddenly, super crazy itchy, and it was it's not not good at all. And I couldn't, for the life of me, figure it out, right? Because I was like, what's what's going on? Why am I why am I so itchy all of a sudden? And I come to realize. Assault rifle sucks. It doesn't suck. Actually, it's not bad. And I maybe should have taken that instead of the uh, machine gun. But but anyway, so I couldn't figure this out. And then I'm sure you probably know how the story is going to end. I, I eventually find out that it's uh, because there's fleas hanging out now. And I have a carpeted floor, but it's like, how did... When I left, there were no fleas. I did not have fleas on my side of this house. So what the heck happened? Like... I have no idea, but now there, there seems to be some fleas hanging out, and I hate fleas a whole lot. We do have some animals, obviously. We have a couple of cats and dogs, so some some must... And, and they're outdoors. We live in a, a nice little spot, and there's a lot of room for them to run around and stuff. There's not really any traffic or anything, so... So, yeah, so maybe they acquired some and brought some in, so... Either way, it sucks. And I, I, I'm still surprised. I, I still don't know how they would have... Even if, you know, they do have fleas now. There's nothing over here, and, uh... This kind of, my house is kind of split through a garage, right? And then uh, the animals usually hang out on the other side because that's where everything is pretty much. Can I just unload until that guy dies? It's like, I don't know if my mom came over like with, with the dog and that was enough for them to, like, it's not like they've been hanging out here lengthily on this side because they never do. So like, uh, it's like, I don't know, how do, how do fleas, it feels like to me that maybe the fleas are like mostly in my car, but oh, why didn't I get that health? I seen it there. Oh, and then we just took some damage, but I was like, I'll go get it in a second. I'm in no rush. Turns out that was a big mistake. Because we would have 8 HP right now, as opposed to uh, not H. But you know what? I will do. Come down here. 
The reason I didn't kill that guy is we have the screwdriver. We can go to the secret area. Son of a bitch, eh? This is a... Speaking of son of a bitch, this area. This son of a bitch area. Okay, now. I'm not a smart man. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That was a nice little, uh... Nice little run we had going, for sure. But, uh, you know, I blew myself up. And so now that run is over. I should have probably switched to my, uh... My shotgun there. As that... A yellow ammo chest would have gave it gives you ammo for whatever weapon you're on um, And if you're full on the ammo for that weapon type, I think it then just gives you I think it's then random or it might be the next uh, Weapon type that you're on but if you're full on ammo for both weapons See see what I mean that gave me shells because I switched to my shotgun And I'll, I'll go ahead and take the assault rifle if you're full on ammo for both weapons uh, then, then then I think it's random because it will I don't think you can ever get ammo for a um, For a gun that you're full on ammo for it but i could be mistaken i i have been mistaken before and i'm sure i will be mistaken again in the future oh that's that's right i've seen the the shine of the revolver and i did not know what it was turns out it was a revolver okay this guy's dead down we go uh we did get a level i'd like to get something like rhino skin once again uh bolt marrow could be really good second stomach does synergize super well though with rebel so let's go ahead let's spawn one we haven't done that in a little bit let's uh Felt like something exploded down here. <gasps> I should have spawned another, that, or I should have spawned two others, but I didn't, because I would have got four HP back. Oh well, that's fine. All right, let's get all this. We got the screwdriver again. Why don't we just grab it again? Just because I feel like it. Just because I feel like it. I could spawn another ally. Totally unnecessary. But health only drops. Wait, that guy cost two. I thought I, I thought it was two. The first one that you spawn. And then one every future one. I'll go ahead and roll with this for fun. Okay, he's uh, he's dead. Maybe it's one if you spawn others while another is still alive. I'm pretty sure spawning allies still heals old ones. I don't really know. But nevertheless, we're gonna we're gonna head on out. We're going down to the sewers. It would be nice to figure out these new ally mechanics a little better. I'm thinking bloodlust because once again, another mutation that synergizes really well that I would consider with uh you know, who we're on, which is Rebel, as we all know. Hey, get out of here. You did not get out of here quite when I wanted you to. Okay, you know what? Let's just blow some shit up. Let's just, we need to get that health, my friends. Let's go get it. Let's go get it right now. And we'll, yeah, that was the way to do that because, uh, well, we could have been at full health, but now we're only at negative, well, we're only at seven health instead of, instead of like uh, eight. Or, uh, or if we would have uh, spawned the ally after we got the health pack, then we would be down to six. So, not a bad play. Anyway. Anyway, moving on. He is dead. I'm going to grab the ammo. They always drop ammo now, I guess, is the thing. They, did he drop it some plutonium as well? They might still drop plutonium as well, actually. Which which would be kind of good. So, I think the way it works is when you spawn one, it costs two health. If you already have an ally on the screen helping you out, though, they probably only cost one. Okay, let's kill him. Let's unload on this guy here. All right, that should be easy peasy. There we go. We missed, I think, a little bit of plutonium down there. Not really a big deal. All right, max uh, max HP. We could uh, spawn another, but the level is pretty much over. What is this? A double shotgun. Okay, wait. Oh, good, it's coming with me. That's really, really good news. And I'm going to pick up Rabbit's Paw because I really like Rabbit's Paw. I'm going to pick up this double shotgun and the screwdriver. And uh, get out of here. Oh, we're almost dead. Oh, that thing needs to die, and then I will feel a little better. Two. Oh, die. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh, it killed me. Fucking assassins are sneaky motherfuckers. Okay, so we could be doing quite a bit better. What is this? It's an assault rifle. I should have picked it up. There we go. We got it. All right. Let's assault rifle this. And kill this. So we haven't made it, what, past the scrapyard? That's not That's not good. It's not good. My, I feel like my nuclear throne game has been lacking a little bit, to be perfectly honest. I'm not going to bother with that chest. Actually, I should have bothered with that chest, but it doesn't even matter. I don't even care. Let's kill this stuff, and that should be the end of the level. No. Oh, we got some plutonium, which is nice. Okay, we'll pick this up now. I was thinking I want to try to find a different weapon and get ammo for that, but it's probably not going to happen because we already opened up the one and only ammo chest on this level, and it didn't happen. So, what do I want? Maybe scarier face again because because uh, it's not bad. And now uh, these guys will die in, like, one bullet, which is nice. Actually, scary face. I still quite like it. Okay. Screwdriver. Third chance to visit the secret area. All right. And uh, we'll leave the uh, the revolver behind and the um, the other weapon, the assault rifle. 
Okay, kill him. I'm feeling like I'm a little bit more in my game now with the whole uh, nuclear throne. Today, anyway, uh, we'll grab this and get those bolts. Something's left alive. We'll just beat this thing to death with a screwdriver. Boom, we've done it. We're going down. We got another level. I'm hoping for... Ooh, so many good choices here. Rabbit's paw is really good. Uh, second stomach is also really good. I'm thinking rabbit's paw. Second stomach may be a little better. Um, also, uh, the other one, bloodlust, also quite good. But uh, I didn't go with it, which is which is fine. Okay, let's clear some of this nonsense out. Here we go. We're going to have uh, Mr. Uh, Big Bandit here spawn in any time now. Okay, there he is there, as a matter of fact. Okay, you know what? I want to get my plutonium over there. We're, do we're going for it. We're making a mad dash. All right. All right, let's, let's, fucking, here, let's just beat him to death like this. There we go. All right, he is dead. Excellente. We got a slugger. We got bolts. We got... What else do we got? I mean, the slugger's really good. I'd like to bring it down to the next level, but I don't think we're going to... Oh, we might, actually, because there's only one enemy left, and he might work his way down here. Oh, it looks like there's a good chance that that's going to come with us, and it did. But I... Actually, it probably won't come to the next next level with us, so whatever. But you know what? I will take it, and I will use it for a bit on this. Get it, get it here, Mister. A bit on this level, and I noticed I haven't been using the um, the throne butt very much. But I'm or the uh, the activated ability, I should say. Okay, you know what? Okay, we need to do this. There we go. There, oh, there we go. Just two for one special. That was like a three for one special, which is even better. This friggin' level. Oh yeah! Oh, this friggin' level. Okay, we need to come back, come out this way. We need to get this ammo. We need to kill these rats. It's it's a rat infestation down here. Got to be said. Something has got to be done. All right, kill him. He's dead. He's up all up on me. He's getting all up in my business now. This one up. Oh. Okay, that one got me. That's fine. Low shells. That's fine too because we're gonna come back and grab our screwdriver. I think there's a rat up here. There was. All right, down we go. What's down here now? Health. Health is down here. That's good. And, uh, and, uh, and some rats that I'm gonna kill. And some rats that are now dead. Alright, you know what? Slugger, great weapon. But, I am actually going to grab the, uh, the screwdriver. Just because it's appeared three times, and I kind of three times planned on going to visit the secret area. And, uh, you know, I want to get to my secret area. And I probably could have. I just had to hop in the, uh, the fucking car. Which I believe I could have. But I wanted, I like to clear out the levels a little bit more. So... And once again, I'm probably going to still do that. Uh, level uh, 4. We're on level 4. We're probably not going to make it to level 5, which means no up. No, that's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, homing bolts. Also totally fine. Plutonium hunger. Also very, very good. But I'm going to go with homing bolts. Oh, I did get a level. And we're definitely going to get another level. Which is good. Oh, that was a nice chain reaction. And, uh, oh, that was a miss. That was once again a nice chain reaction. Let's, let's try to get another one. Let's just kill this motherfucker. And you, and you, and you, and you. Let's fire it straight up. We probably missed. I think there's a robo sniper up there, though. <gasps> Should have waited on that. Should have spawned some allies. Should have done a lot of things that I didn't, but that's fine. Wow, this guy was way up here, actually. This is quite the sprawling area. Okay, fine. Kill him. He is dead. They die in one shot with a bolt, I guess, if you have, um, at the very least, if you have the screwdriver, which is cool. I did not know that. Bolts. Uh, the crossbow is a, a weapon that I'm a really big fan of. Okay, kill you. I'm not going to kill that other one because he might be the last enemy left. Okay, he is not. But uh, probably not even close, actually. All right, that should kill them. And now you. And I don't know where the car is. If it was on this level, it has mysteriously blown up. But looks like we will not be going to the uh, secret area this time, which is kind of unfortunate. I should have waited because I want to come up here and grab this triple machine gun, I guess, because it's the only... It's probably a little better than the screwdriver. Uh, if you're really good with the screwdriver, though, maybe not. Okay, a lot of good things. Once again, uh, Bloodlust. Let's just go ahead and do it. We're going to spawn an ally or two here. Let's just... Just to, just to do it. Just to have some allies helping us out. Just because I like, I like allies. They're fun. And that's why I play this game. Not necessarily to make the best, most awesomest, smartest plays of all time, but just to have the most best, awesomest fun that I can. Okay, hopefully that killed that motherfucking assassin down there. Let's just clear out this whole little area. And we did. And uh, we'll go ahead and grab that. Now we could try to fill this up. We could also piss off the IDPD a little bit. Don't hit me! 
Oh, well, you did hit me. That's what exactly what I told you to not do. We do have Bloodlust, so hopefully we'll get uh, some HP back here soon. I'm going to come down this way. And 3 HP, not, not the best situation. Okay. Okay, we're going to see what this is. It's an energy sword. Let's grab it. Let's kill that guy. Let's kill that motherfucker. Okay. Okay. Level 5. Are we going to get a uh, mutation? 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't, I don't think we are. Oh, nervous. Nervous. I'm on big dog. Don't cross the streams. Ah! Okay. Come down. Just chill out. Down. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, I'm going to do one more because holy fucking shit. I haven't even made it off the uh, fucking... What's it called? The scrapyard, which is crazy to me. Like, what is going on? Okay, taking a stupid hit. Let's come up here and kill him. Let's actually hit him. Let's actually hit him. There we go. All right. All right, down we go. Uh, yeah, unbelievable. Once again, what the fuck? I probably should have waited until I... Uh, I should have switched to my grenade launcher. But yeah, I feel like I'm playing not even... Okay, I feel like I'm playing really good. So, uh, but obviously, apparently, I'm not. Oh, all these shit little faces here. Yeah, it's been a while since I've even made it to the um, Frozen Palace with nu on Nuclear Throne. Like, too long, I would say. And now we have two slow-firing weapons, which uh, is mostly fine, I would say. I think that we can make it work. And now I'm, I'm getting a little impatient. It's like, I at least want to get off the scrapyard, because that's... If, if I, I don't remember the last time I did a video where I only made it to the scrapyard and didn't make it off the scrapyard. Okay, this thing is bad. I'd like to get both of these little fuckers. I'd like to get both of these little fuckers in one shot. It's, it can be pretty hard to line that up, but when you can do it like that, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Also, my ammo's not the greatest. And I'm thinking about dropping one of these two weapons and grabbing something with a slightly higher fire rate, but this should be fine. Let's go on down to the next level. And we are going to pick... Uh, I think we're going to pick Patience. Look at that, because I don't really want any of these other mutations. So, And we should actually get a chance to see it in action now, because... I've taken it a couple of times, but every time that I take it, I actually uh, I actually die on the level that I get it, and I don't get to use it. So, not the best. We have a disc gun. Not going to take it. Going to kill them. Okay, okay. There's some health down there that I really want to get. Okay, we got it. We got it, and he is dead. All right. We only are at 5 HP, but we did spawn ourselves a couple allies. That was a good shot. I think I might have got... Oh, I didn't get the score game, but... Okay, these allies are at least helping me out a fair amount right now, which is nice. Hey! Oh! You fucking shot him right into me. But that's okay, because I did get health down here. Ah! Okay, that, that was some bad damage. No question about it. We got 14 bolts. We got a laser pistol. We got a triple machine gun. What's better? The grenade launcher or this crossbow? I'm going to go with this crossbow. Because it, it probably is the better gun. But I like the grenade launcher for sure. So Mutate later didn't really do much for us because these also all kind of suck. I'm just going to grab this one randomly. And uh, more speed, probably not not the worst thing. Oh, shit. Hello, Mr. Assassin. So now that we have this old loadout, um, laser pistol slash crossbow, I would suspect that will do totally fine. That was a nice, a nice shot. It's got to be said. And I really want this run to go well because I feel like I'm long overdue for a good run. The last episode I had a good run, I made it to the Frozen City, which was nice, but, uh, that was last episode. This is this episode. And, you know, Rebel, one of my favorite characters. I'm not sure I'm totally loving the changes to Rebel, though. I'm gonna go with Laser Brain, because it's gonna synergize really well with, uh, what we got going on here. I'm just gonna blow this car up, because it makes a very big explosion, and we'll probably kill some things, and sure enough, it did. Okay, come down here. I can kill all these fuckers. There we go. Did that get both of them? No, it didn't, but... That's okay. We have a shotgun, which I probably won't bother with. Uh, let's see if I can poke on out and kill. Alright, this is probably... We'll wait for this assassin to come down. There we go. Assassin dead. Oh, shit. This is intense. A little bit intense. Okay, we, we took care of it. We're going to get this ammo box right now. Okay, and uh, come, come down this way. Kill all these guys. We got another assassin. Assassin's also dead. Ammo's looking okay. Another two-for-one special with the laser pistol. I really like piercing weapons, and uh, this looks like it's going to be the end of the level. Uh, you died. Uh, there we go. Thank you. Well, now, what do we suppose is in here? A flame shotgun, eh? 
It's actually a pretty cool weapon, and I might end up taking it with me on the next level, but... But, uh, I'm gonna just stick with what I got for now. Okay, okay, oh, okay. A lot of things to kill. Come on down. Kill all of the things. Holy shit. Oh, I'm just gonna back it up a little bit. Okay, okay, another flame weapon. This one is a flamethrower, not a flame shotgun. I want that ammo. I got it, actually, which is nice. I didn't know if I was gonna. All right, chill out, Andrew. You're doing okay, but you're getting a little... Things are getting a little haywire. Oh, is that the end of the level? It is. All right, now, give myself a second here. Okay, there's our flame shotgun. We also have a flamethrower. These weapons are serving me very well. I just... I, I never take... When I take these weapons, I do really well because they're really good weapons, but I take them a lot, and I want to be able to do really good with other weapons. And I just... I really think the flame shotgun's like one of the coolest ideas for a weapon. You get to shoot things in the face with a shotgun and set them on fire. Like, it doesn't get much better than that. And you know what? We have our laser pistol with energy brain, so we can leave the um, we can leave the crossbow behind. And uh, I guess I'll take scary face. I, we are on the big dog battle, finally. And we're in an, a, a good enough spot that I think that we might be okay. I'm just gonna go nuts and unload here. Like nobody's business. I'm gonna get the health also. Like my business. I'm gonna get all this plutonium. And we are just going to fuck this guy right up. I think I just killed him. All right. Okay. Wonderful. We have a sledgehammer and a bunch of crap. We're going down to the next level. We also got bloodlust we are going to take. And we're making great time, which is nice. But we're also killing the shit out of things. All right. There's another one of these things that has to die. Okay. This is all coming up Millhouse right now. It's flame shoddy. A few things down here just because... Oh, look at them all die in a fire. There we go. All right. This is going very well, and I'm very satisfied with it. Now, before I continue on, let me just come up here and, and say this. I like now the sledgehammer uses its usefulness pretty much right when you get to this area. Uh, unless you have, like, long arms and scary face, which I do have one of the two. And I was looking at the grenade launcher thinking about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab it. Oh, let's roll with this flame shotgun for a bit. Let's let's just enjoy the flame shotgun. goodness, give me... Oh, not shells. Why did it have to be shells? Uh, what are you? A sticky launcher. No, they're like very masochistic. And I don't really feel like launching an enemy with a sticky grenade and then having them blow up in my face. A little low on uh, ammo for the laser pistol, and I would like to get more. But we're just gonna chill out here. I don't want that Yeti to, to, to launch at me. Yeti's tricky. Tricky enemies. Tri Yetis seem to... I, I would have to say that Yetis kill me more than any other enemy. Do I have plutonium hunger? I do. This should be okay. That should be okay as well. Something. There's one thing that's just like firing these... Okay, let's just fucking kill these dogs. Okay, let's kill the Yetis actually. What is that thing? It's a laser cannon. Okay. Alright. Give me energy and shells. That's all I really care about. Alright, kill you, kill you will also, and now come in here and kill you. Keep on going up. Keep it on the up. Alright. Oh, it was the fire that did him in. That was, was very nice. And it still shows patience, even though I'm pretty sure I've used my... I have mutated later, but it still shows up in the list. So it almost feels like... Oh yeah, by the way, I figured out how patience works. You, you take it, and then... And then it gives you like a whole new set of mutations that you can uh, that you can pick through. Oh, that was almost some bad damage. Let's come up here. And uh, I'm gonna kill this whole area. Oh, that was close. Okay, okay, come up here. Yeah, patience, you pick it, and uh, then you don't have to pick any of the mutations that you were currently on. Uh, and then the next level, you get to pick like a whole new list of four. And I'm pretty sure that's how patience works. I'm using the nuke launcher because I have a nuke launcher. And I'm pretty sure you can guide it. But I don't really know how to. Let's try. Let's try to chill right here and then guide it that way. That's very neat. That's very neat. I probably won't take it down to the next level. But, uh, you know, because yeah, I could, I guess. There's something down here. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> That's pretty fun, actually. But uh, I don't trust myself with it. So I'm going to stick with uh, the flame shotgun. And the laser pistol. And we're going down to, uh, um, what level? 5-2? So we might make it to Little Hunter. Get out of here, doggies. Let's just do this one. Okay, let's just chill out. Right here where it's safe. Okay. Kill this motherfucker. 
And that motherfucker, and that Yeti, so he doesn't charge at me. Right, and we'll just fucking flame shotgun that guy up. And uh, yeah, this run is going a lot better. I almost didn't do another one, but I was like, you know what? I feel like I feel like doing one more because I don't like. I like to at least beat Big Dog. If I do a run and I don't beat Big Dog, I'm like really disappointed. Uh, so yeah, and if as long as I make it to like, you know, the Crystal Caves or whatever it's called, I feel not bad. I'm kind of tempted to uh, leave the uh, flame shotgun behind and bring the uh, the energy uh, sword. Um, I will, the ammo, I will always get energy for ammo, and I think that's a pretty surefire way to ensure that I'm gonna get a, uh, that I'm not gonna run out of ammo for one specific gun, which naturally I don't want to do. Okay, shit, I don't know what to do, so I'm gonna just fire at things until they die. Okay, we got some IDPD all up on the case. All up on our case, as a matter of fact. Eh, it's less of an issue now. Let's just fucking fuck everything on up. Come up this way. Continue the up fucking. We have rabbit's paw, don't we? Yes, we do. Which is good. I think this is the end of the level. Uh, which means I didn't get my ammo chest. That was that you guys probably all saw over that way. But it's not really a big deal because I'm doing pretty good on ammo. And I, we got a little hunter battle coming, coming our way. And uh, fucking hell yeah. Oh, what are you doing? What an asshole. He did so much fucking... Moving about. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that he was an asshole, because he's a dead asshole, and we got all of our HP back now at this point. Okay, fuck that guy in the face with some fucking fiery shotguns, which is exactly what we did. And, uh, alright. Okay, we're gonna make it to the, uh, the labs, I think. Anyway, I mean, it's not over yet, the Frozen City, but, but, uh, the hard part's over. Okay, let's get a chill down here, and, uh, maybe we want, might want to think about that weapon and now don't even throw that car at me all right because that that would not be cool no no yetis no yetis no okay all right all right if you hit me i won't be happy huh he hit me and i'm not happy i told you that would happen i'm so freaked out now okay we're fine we're fine everything's cool be cool that health is going to be nice that'll put us back up to six hp we have a pop rifle, which we're definitely not going to be taking. And we have rhino skin, which we definitely are going to be taking. And so far, things are going really well. Once again, Rebel. Even though I haven't used your active ability, I always seem to make it really far with Rebel. I'd like to use the ability more. Let's use it right now. And once more. Because you know what? Why not? Might as well get two at a time. Alright. And maybe Bloodlust should probably proc at least once or twice in in the labs because it's so filled with enemies but uh it hasn't happened once yet and that's probably all the use that we're gonna get out of these rebels heal up and don't die i guess spawning allies <gasps> oh no had i not spawned so many allies i might still be alive also had i not ran into you know an exploding enemy i might still be alive but that's gonna do it for this episode I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like. And uh, check out my channel for more Nuclear Throne and anything else I decide to do. Subscribe to be notified of when I come out with new videos. You guys have a great day. My name's Vicarious Viking, and I will see you later.